Hi everyone, uh, Ricardo Madio. Today we will talk about uh, Whitefox, uh, the new open source uh, data sharing solution uh, created by Agile Lab. And uh, this talk is about uh, Antonio, but Antonio is not here. So let's talk about uh, who is Antonio, who is Agile Lab. So Agile Lab is an Italian consulting company that uh, makes uh, data management, data strategy, data mesh, we are famous for data mesh. And uh, we work with uh, enterprise companies, um, of uh, international companies, not only Italian. And Tony is a uh, data architect with several years of experience in uh, high volume of uh, uh, data, performance, real time, batch, data job, and stuff like this. I'm a data engineer in uh, specializing in uh, data orchestrator and uh, modern data stack. So, how uh, the data platform for analytics uh, it's made in 2024? How it's structured? Which is the technology that uh, is most used? We make a survey for it. We create a survey on social and also in our customer and uh, the result is that the, major the majority of the, the technology used on uh, data analytics uh, uh, platform are data lake or data lake house. And uh, following from Cloud Data Warehouse, uh, Red BS, and uh, the data warehouse is it's gone from this point of view. Um, let's, let's start in before. Let's make a little bit of history and contest about uh, the technology of the uh, data platform. In the late 80s, uh, the, uh, the data warehouse board and um, it's emerged as a centralized repository for structured data and uh, it's the main uh, technology used by data engineer in uh, the early, from the early adopter of data engineer. And uh, as the data volumes grow and uh, the data variety changed, so unstructured data, different semi-structured data change, uh, the data warehouse uh, bring a wall. So it's, uh, it's eating on a wall because it's a problem. So it starts to create uh, a new idea, a new technology that's the data lake. The data lake um, in the early Adoption, the early beginning doesn't uh, provide like uh, acid transaction, uh, partition evolution, or other technology that we have now. In the data lake, uh, the first data lake, uh, they just manage data sets that are semi structured and structured data with a variety of uh, high volume uh, and a variety of data. Uh, in the latest years, they start the data lake house. The idea is to bring together the data warehouse uh, functionality and the data lake. So the data management, access layer, acid transaction, everything regarding these two technology mixed uh, emerged together. So as we say, the data warehouse, uh, it's a uh, RDBS that is uh, mostly operational uh, data warehouse, but adopted for analytics. So it's, it's not their work, it's not their job from this kind of view. But uh, if you imagine there is a curated layer on the data warehouse, you take this curated layer and you can create a pipeline, a data mart, whatever you want. And uh, from this point of view, there are some issues on this uh, implementation, this uh, architecture. Like, um, it's not a design for analytics. It's designed for trans transactional operation. The compute and the storage of data warehouse is in the same place. So if it grows the storage, it will grow also the computation. And uh, the payment, the cost of this, it will grow. There are not too much data format. There is a limitation on the data formats and data warehouse. And they're not cheap, as we know. So the data lake idea is very easy. 
there is a file system, a file storage, and uh, from the storage, whatever you want, there is a HDF or S3, whatever you want, there is an open file format like Parquet, CSV, whatever you want, and uh, there is a um, parallel engine like Spark or uh, Hadoop or whatever you want, and uh, mix it together, it creates a data lake. So it's, it was amazing and it's still working. But, uh, sorry, yeah, it's good. But uh, the majority of the data infrastructure currently now is the couple, the storage and the compute. They differ, they separated. So if the storage grow, because most of the time the storage grow, we don't, we are not paying for the computation it grows, so we can decouple it. And uh, this can bring different benefits, for example. We, from the data consumer, we can use different uh, query engine, Spark, Hadoop, uh, or Presto, Hive, whatever you want. We can use Trino, we can use Dremio, or Snowflake, or Kilkhouse for this kind of engines. We can also have uh, object storage that is provided by cloud, so S3, cloud, Google Cloud Storage, but also we can use uh, our independent storage that we can uh, deploy in the event in our on-premises, like MinIO, uh, Ozone, like this one. The advantage of this architecture is it's that uh, the computation of the storage is separated. So. In the data warehouse, when you make a query, when you make a, a request to the data warehouse, what happens is that uh, if uh, the load, the request of the data is too high, the, the, the data warehouse, it will create a queue. It will create a queue, the priority, there is a system like this one. In the data lake, no. Every consumer has a uh, different consumer uh, client library. So you can Spark or SQL or whatever you want. And uh, from this point of view, there are no conflicts on the consume side. Yeah, it, everything is cool. Everything is cool. The hype is very high for this kind of technology because there is a possibility to have a different language. So we can use SQL, but we can also use uh, Java, Python for reading this data. You can also use multimodal data sets, so you can have a different kind of data set, uh, image uh, or audio or medical kind of data bit. But the problem is that Data Lake doesn't bring with us the acid transaction, the data management, uh, the primitive access control, schema read, uh, change of schema, and different uh, aspect of this future that we have in a data warehouse, we lose this future in this point of view. So from this point of view, the data analytics uh, rule have uh, some issue because uh, if you provide to the data analytics uh, the file on the object storage like it's free, they say, I can query it. It's uh, a file. So what happened? It's the advent of uh, table formats. The table formats uh, keep the benefits of the storage and compute the couple, but add an extra layer, the metadata. That is uh, the fundamental layer. With this layer, they provide async transaction, schema evolution, partition evolution. We have time, travel, time traveling, data versioning. We have uh, we can have also data statistics regarding the partition of the columns. And uh, we can also not only implement a copy and write, but also merge and read in the modern table format. So, as I said before, all the table format are columnar file format. And uh, the only things that it changes is the metadata. And uh, the compute engine that you can use, it can be not only uh, Spark or, or the Java or whatever you want, but you can use also SQL. You can use also uh, Athena, Presto, Trino, whatever you want. So it gives the data analytics the possibility to query the, the, your catalogs, uh, show the databases, show the schema, everything from this point of view. 
but uh, it have also some problems. But also, in the last year, there is also a partial arrow that it brings also an acceleration for this point of view. It's a very cool try. Um, so, the coupling in the storage and the compute, it creates a new pattern. A new pattern where the direct access to the data format is it's, uh, accessible to everyone. So different departments with different teams can access uh, your, uh, your data by implementing the table format, very easy. Uh, but we found some issues in, uh, in uh, data management, okay? If you see this schema, this is a schema of uh, a data lake house components. So the fundamental component is the table format, iceberg, delta lake, uh, uh, hoodie, we'll talk later. But we have a, a issue that we can see here very easily, but uh, if you are, uh, if you make consultant, uh, you will notice. The problem is the data management problem. So the data management, the access layer to give access to different table format, uh, to different company, organization, is tricky. It's very tricky. If you want to share your data with another table format, with, an, uh, with another company, it's becoming difficult. The governance, became difficult also, the data governance. So you need to provide a cloud account, you need to pro provide a, an access layer to the catalog, to the schema, table, it became tricky. So for this reason we started a project for data sharing because uh, this problem happened very easily in big organization but also in medium organization and uh, share the data with a zero data copy architecture, it became fundamental. We try to avoid the companies and customers to, to make copy of the data between department, between team, because it's, uh, it costs. <laughs> so let's analyze uh, which is the solution of the data sharing provided by this kind of technology. Data warehouse, I uh, have an access layer uh, for data governance very easy. So we have, you can create a user, grant access to the table, it's very easy. But uh, as we say before, only SQL uh, engineer, SQL uh, analytics can analyze this data. Uh, the workload is not segregated, so we have uh, neighbor traffic inside our cluster. Um, the cost uh, is very high. Uh, the, I would say that the couple it's not possible of computer storage, so this problem. Data Lake. Data Lake, uh, uh, it brings some benefits from some point of view, but uh, have uh, some problem, as I say before. So the problem is uh, if you want to have another team, another person in the, uh, to access your data, you need to create an user, a rule on your cloud account, you need to give a specific access to the catalog or to the object storage, you need to communicate the data layout, you need to communicate the data location. So the barrier to enter is very high, still. And um, yeah, there is some benefits, but we need to evaluate everything from this point of view. So let's adopt the table format. We can resolve this problem. We can resolve every problem regarding data sharing. It's fine. No, it's not fine. So, no. So we, now we are doing it, an example with the iceberg, but we can use uh, whatever uh, table format. The problem with the data lake is still, still here. So we, we can share the data, but we need to create a user, we need to give access to the specific object storage, to the catalog, to the table. We add another layer, the catalog. So the catalog, like, like formation, glue, et cetera, et cetera, is another layer of access, so you need to provide the policy for that, for example. Yeah, there are some benefits, as you said before, but uh, the problem is still here. There is a second aspect that we analyzed, and the table format uh, and the data sharing, it's the ecosystem of the table format. So as we know, Delta Lake, it's uh, made first for Spark, Databricks, uh, it's for uh, machine learning, intelligence uh, uh, analytics, uh, this kind of uh, customer. 
They have integration also, not only with Spark, but also with uh, Python and Rust in the last uh, version. Iceberg uh, is Java first, so if you have a Java virtual machine and you are working, um, you have a SQL engine, the integration with the SQL engine and Java virtual machine is very, very easy to do. So like Athena, Presto, Trino, Dremio have a great integration with with the iceberg, but uh, as we say, iceberg is it's pretty difficult uh, for people that are not that engine from this point of view. Udi is Java only, so it's a little bit limitation. So, as I said before, also the goal of this table format is different. So the goal of Delta Lake, the, 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 the objective of the Delta Lake is made for streaming and batch. Instead, instead the iceberg is made um, batch first. It is made for streaming first. So the, the curve of learning also is different. So iceberg have a high curve. I don't, I'm not saying that it, it's not easy to use, but the, the curve is high if you are not a data engineer. Delta is more easy a little bit. Woody is they, it's very high. So the ecosystem table format from this point of view doesn't help uh, on data sharing. Yeah, it's uh, open source, but uh, mm, let's say. So the customer come and say, so which is the best solution? Which is the best uh, table format? How we can resolve the problem on data sharing within our company, organization, teams? Which is the table uh, format that the Queen shows that uh, it's more openness also? And uh, the customers say, why we can use both table format? Why? We can use Delta Lake and Iceberg in, uh, in the same company, or Delta Lake and UD, why not? It's very easy. So it's born Xtable. Apache Xtable is a good technology for data sharing because uh, it, uh, it creates an abstraction of the table format from the metadata and can share and convert the metadata from Delta Lake to Iceberg, UD to Iceberg. Uh, you provide a source uh, and a destination to convert it. They have some benefits, some cons some uh, disadvantage. Uh, they have some problem to convert it. It's very tricky to convert uh, the table. Uh, the process is not so automatic uh, from this point of view. It's to simplify the access, uh, but uh, the, it can be improved, but it's fine for our work from this point of view. It has a high community. It's omni direction, so you can convert everything from this point of view. That is good. Another technology that can be used is data sharing, because uh, if we remember the problem of data sharing, it's not only um, it's not only the table format, also the data management, the access layer, the data governance. So from this point of view, data sharing can help us on the access layer, on organize uh, logically every database, every table, every group of data sets in our data lake. And, uh, it creates an um, authentication layer, so it's a, a protocol with HTTP, very easy to implement, and um, it provides you the access to the data without uh, copy the data. So you can access from different consumers, uh, different readers, uh, not only Spark, not only the, the same langu language that we use in data engineering. So the, the little bit problem is that uh, the community of Delta Sharing is uh, only for Databricks and Delta Lake table from this point of view. Um, yeah, it's not so open source, you, but uh, we can use it, uh, we implement it, uh, and it's fine, it works. Uh, but they have many benefits for use it, so we, we choose this technology for provide the data sharing capability. But uh, we, we need to, to make a mix. Why not to fusion it? Why not to provide a fusion between uh, Apache Xtable and Delta Sharing and provide a data sharing solution? We did. We created WhiteFox. It's an open source project that uh, provides data sharing between different table formats. 
and uh, create an authentication layer and access control layer for uh, data, data in general, data management, uh, whatever you want. It covers, as I said, the administration tool, so you can organize your data and you can provide the grant access uh, to the table or to a group of table, a schema, we will see later. Um, it's a production grade, so not a toy, not a joke, it's, it's already implemented and we can use it. And yeah, it's a good, good log. From uh, the point of view of the data consumer, this technology uh, is very easy. There is an authentication, authentication protocol, you implement it, it is an open API with you know, Swagger, whatever you want. You use our client uh, library. We can use uh, also the Delta Lake sharing library for the authentication protocol. We just extend it, we'll see it later. And uh, you can work with the table format you want. So Delta, Iceberg, Hoodie, or Parquet, no problem. From the data administration, the, the, the cool thing is that you can register table, organize your data, and grant access at a high level. We can, uh, we extend the, the Delta Lake uh, the, with Delta sharing uh, client library, and we create a uh, white box. So uh, as I said before, there is uh, the server, the server where there is a share organization, share group. So there is uh, every schema can have a different table, one multi-table, and uh, every share can have a different schema. So it's, it's like a data set, you can organize your data as you want to. There are uh, an authentication server uh, with the cloak, so you can implement Active Directory, LDP, whatever you want. And uh, we need to implement, still implement the YAM rule, the uh, user rule for the cloud, so if you are on AWS, you need to provide the access to the object storage. But after that, the protocol manage all the access to the table, to the grain rule. To the, to the table, access to the schema and sharing. So you just need to provide access to the, to the storage and the, the rest of that is implemented by, by White Fox. It's not a new protocol. So for this reason, uh, we, we are not creating a new protocol. <laughs> we don't want. Uh, White Fox just extends Delta, Delta sharing, so we extend it, uh, we use it, uh, we extending the, the, the delta sharing uh, uh, library that it's already uh, implement a conversion of metadata between Iceberg and Delta Lake. So we are not uh, creating a new table format, we are not creating a new protocol, we are just uh, extending the actual ecosystem of library and framework. The, the, the project is made by uh, Java 17 uh, with Quarkus, that is a framework for uh, cloud native application. It's stateless uh, and there is already the project available on GitHub with the image so you can try it. There is also a deployment on Terraform, AWS Lite so you can deploy it. And um, the roadmap for the next future is that we want to and uh, we want to use uh, Apache Stable and delete most of our work. Apache Stable currently now is not implemented. If we have it, we, we resolve most of, of my problem at work. Uh, we want to implement the K clock authentication because now it's with the Delta. And uh, we want to add the support with many, many, many um, functionality of the table formats like Iceberg, Major Read, Delta Lake Vector, etc., etc. We need the collaboration because uh, we need collaboration because it's a project, an open source project, and uh, it's a problem that have many different companies, uh, enterprise, startup, etc., etc. So if you want, you can you can collaborate, and check it. Question, uh, doubts. <laughs>